I've been making a whole bunch of wave paintings lately and I've been sharing a lot of how I do that with my patrons because they have my back and for just two dollars a month they help to keep me in my studio doing experimental stuff. People who are my patron already know a whole bunch of stuff about this painting and how I did the things that I did on it. I teach people all my tips and tricks so please think about it guys two bucks a month I'm worth it you're worth it let's do it hi there beautiful fellow artists I thought I might share with you one of the things that I do when I've mucked up again where I've made a mistake and I've painted over some good stuff that I had in the background so in this case some textures then I found out I needed a bit more light in there so I had to paint over my textures and what that does is it can take away all the interestingness of the textures it can hide them in that even color that goes on top so this bit here this is the area in question and that's what it ended up looking like here this is where it started, where I'd obscured my textures. Okay, here's a good little trick. Now, what I'm trying to do is overlay some light and find my texture again. There's some texture under all of this solid very dirty purple and I've lost it because I've painted over it with the purple now if I have my light color which in this case is a mix of titanium white and Naples yellow and I'm not careful I'll just paint it flat light again so what I have to do instead of holding my brush up perpendicular to the surface like I normally do I hold it down real flat and so I'll use a different brush grip so instead of like this I'll hold it down like this so that when I drag the brush across the surface see all that lovely texture I'm finding back in there so there's some stenciling underneath and here it comes back again so by raking the brush I'm not just getting solid light across the top, I'm getting all my stenciling back. Good trick, huh? So after this, it got some phthalo blue glazing, it got some olive green in texture paste and a bit of bright orange there as well. Got a little bit of more very fine white stenciling and then finally I got where I was going and here's last wave of the day which is a painting I'm super happy with thanks for watching my beautiful patrons bye